Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to Georgetown. Guys, we are we're busy planting again. We're throwing more seeds in the ground with the Stara. More Stara action with the Stara, Stara King. Oh, I'm never going to be able to shake this name. Let's get to work. Bitter batter. Clutch simulations. Hey, what's going on, folks? Good to have you guys back in here. Welcome back to Georgetown. We have been playing this. We played a ton of this map. Oh, man, this is such a good map. Anyways, we are, uh, well, up by our mansion on the hill. The K Sims mansion on the hill. Um, I need to plant this field again. We've planted, well, we replanted soybeans, money beans over on 41 and 42 over there. Uh, they are, well, they're replanted already. Gertie was busy. We put her through her paces. She decided she wanted to replant. Um, and I've got to replant this one. So we're going to replant this. I've got a field. We still need to go and harvest and get replanted for the summer. You know what? I just need to get this done so we can focus back on well we've got our dealership we got to focus on and i have not i've been i've been neglecting it. it it's it's you know what we don't when we neglect it we don't make money at it so we need to get back in there all right let's drop this down fire it up let's go all right seeds in the ground so i have to admit um i'm, I'm getting a, a little sick of dealing with the orange all the time all orange all the time um I, uh, guys, I don't know if I can handle much more of this. I'm telling you, this is, it's been a lot. This is, this has definitely been a lot. Now, don't get me wrong, we've definitely had worse, but when this is all you're dealing with, it's, it always seems like there is one struggle or something needs to be fixed. Maybe it's time we, we think about moving. Come on, like, look at this. This is supposed to have, like, 600 horsepower and we're still getting stuck here. Come on. Just work for me. Just it's not that difficult. You know that. Be, that being said, I, I complain a lot about it. But this this planter, I, you know what? It direct drills. It's got fertilizer. Thirty two head. Um, I I don't think I can really complain about that. Can I? That's this seems like it's fairly decent. And um, well, if I drive in the right lane, I actually get a lot done here. Maybe I should. You know what? We don't even have a GPS on this tractor. Why don't I have a GPS on this thing? Somebody get me the Stara dealer on the line. Seriously, why did we not get a GPS with this unit? I don't understand. This tractor needs to have a GPS. I don't understand why it didn't come with one. Oh, man. It's such a... I, I don't know. Maybe we weren't really planning on using this for planting. It was supposed to be more just our cart tractor. and We were going to use the 180, that new 180 we got for planting. But... Um... Yeah, it's gonna get double duty. Let's be honest. It, it, it we're gonna we're gonna use it for everything. And and like stuff like this has been constantly happening. And I think this time it might be done. I don't, like we're only getting power to the front tires. And like is what is that? Is that the transfer case, it, or is it like the differential we got? The uh, the differential. I don't know. Is maybe it's the flux capacitor. I I don't know what happened. Guys, I, I can't, I can't do anything with this. We got no power back there. I cannot pull anymore. Ah, uh, Stara, once, once again, one, once again. It seems like this never ends with me. Maybe I should have just started with the 180 to begin with and uh, got it done this way. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Let's move this thing out of the way. Uh, I think you know what. We should probably move to a Steiger, shouldn't we? I. I think we can afford to buy one pretty quick here. We'll sell all these money beans off. We should be able to buy a Steiger instead of a, a, a Stara. All right, we're disconnected. Let's see if we can get enough power to move this up. There we go. The front tires can grab now at least. And we'll just slide this up out of the way. But I'm only getting power to those front tires. And uh, the rears are not spinning. So this thing is virtually useless right now. All right, well, hopefully we can just finish off this with the uh, this 180. Um, huh. You stay there. Sit sit you stay oh man let's just let's just go let's just go before i end up causing more problems let's get this thing around the corner here come on get up there yes there we go okay um i actually find the 180 feels like it has more power or more traction maybe it's the tires like i don't know if that's what it is because it's definitely less horsepower but it feels like we have more power with this particular tractor i don't know what it is drop this down and in Um, that's not dropped. What, what? What? What's going on here? Uh, okay, I guess it is. It didn't look like it was dropped from the front when you're looking at it. All right, let's go. Yeah, it looks like it was definitely in the air, but it's, no, it's it's definitely dropped. All right, that that works. 
Um, easy though. Holy, going at a bit of a, a quick clip down this hill. Yeah, that is the one problem though. Is when you're going down these hills, it does tend to. Uh, it wants to get away from you because there's just not as much weight with this tractor as that 500 series. But this one here tends to, to get pushed around a little bit more when there's weight behind it. But it tends to have enough, more than enough power to climb, uh, climb most hills by comparison. Come on, get up here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we are going to struggle more than I thought. Ah, get up there. Come on. There we go. Warm buddy beads in the ground. We'll lift this up, spin around. All right. Remember what I just said about this thing feels like it has more power? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Guys, this is not going to work for us. Ah, oh, man. I still need a decent... I need, I need a bigger tractor. I, I need that 500 to work. That's something we're going to have to talk about. But, oh man, you know what? We're almost we're almost done all the hilly fields for, the, well, for the plant season at least. Not bad. But this is just, this is ridiculous. Uh, you know what? I'm glad we used the 500 over on those other two fields. It, they got done, but they're steeper than this one. And I was kind of complaining about it. I was like, oh, you know what? This is, this is kind of difficult. It seems like we don't have enough horsepower for this. And, well, maybe we ran that 500 too hard and that's why she broke. Oh, man. I, uh, there's got to be more reliable stuff out there, though. These are not big fields. This should not break this equipment. All right. Well, um, at least planting is, is done for now. I'm going to need to replant another field still later on. But uh, those those three fields up on the hillside, those are the tougher fields. They're all done. And, well, the 500 is ready to go back for, for warranty work. I, I've got to find out what's going on with that. If that's, if that's going to be a normal occurrence for us... Oh man, there's no way we can work with that, guys. Look, come on. One planting season and she's already broke. We still got to take care of that field right well, right across the road right there. That's uh, ready to go as well. I want to get that out of the ground and replant it as soon as we can. Uh, we've got both the Versatile and the John Deere. I'm just going to take the Versatile over since uh, it's a little bit bigger. I'd love to get a bigger head on this thing, but we'll have to work with what we got for now. So let me get this thing fired up. We're going to cross that street and uh, get into that field quickly. It's not a huge field. Once again, you know what? Most of the fields we have over here... They're all roughly the same size. They're all relatively small. I think around, what, 12 to 15 acres, somewhere around that range. Nothing huge and crazy, at least. So, you know, this mid-size and small equipment we have all seems to work out fairly well, at least in that aspect. Unfortunately, I am all on my own out here, so having to hike back and forth to bring equipment down has been always a bit of a pain. So we'll just get this unwrapped, and I'm going to have to do some driving back and forth and dumping the bin myself. And Unfortunately, uh, it, it is what it is, guys. There's not much we can do about that. Let's unwrap this as well. Get that unfolded. The header is down in place. Looks good, looks good. Let's fire this up. And get into this field. More money beans, guys. That's all we've got. We're doing... We're the, the king of money beans out here on Georgetown right now. This is going to be a lot easier than any of those other fields. Oh, man. Nice flat land down here. Uh, uh, we should buy more fields down here. I should see if I can, I can purchase those other two on the far side there. I mean, this is this is nice by comparison. We don't have to be up on that side of that hill. We're not struggling anymore. Oh, so much better. Way better. Yeah, this is something we should consider. So, this is the only flat field we have. The rest, well, they're all up on that hillside behind us. And then we have the one we made right, well, right on the right there, basically. Um, nothing else, guys. Everything else is just a lot more work. This is simple. I like this. Seems like we're getting a little bit of a lower yield on this field. Uh, we didn't prep this very well last fall. This was kind of a rush to get in here, just to get this done. And I think we're paying for it now, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it, I think we're a little on the low side at 121 bushels. Yeah, it'd be nice to be getting a little bit more than that. But like I said, we rushed this field. Now, see, look at this. I'm looking over at these fields over here. Nothing's planted. Nothing's got planted. I don't know what the farmers are doing with these fields. Maybe we, we could uh, throw them a bit of an offer. And because these, I wonder if these are together. Might be the same owner for both of those. Maybe that might be nice, but it'd be nice to have these, these fields down in the flatlands here. Uh, and yeah, that would be really nice. And so close to the farm, there'd be little to no trucking involved as well, which is kind of always such a pain because if you have to truck across, I mean, it just takes so much more time. Oh, man, this would be okay. I would, I'd be okay with that. You know what else I just realized? We've got another piece of equipment that does not have a GPS unit. Oh, man. What is with me not getting GPS? I mean, I, I, I know we got a bit of a deal on this thing, but still, it'd be nice to have... <laughs> nice to be able to get one piece of equipment that has a GPS, tra a GPS tracker on it. 
Uh, this is something we're going to have to consider. We need to figure out a way of getting that updated. You know what? Versatile is not bad. I, I need to get a bigger header too. But that's so much, it's just so much money now to replace it with. I mean, we'd be another 70000 bucks for a, a, a header I'd be looking for. It's something we can consider, but I've got so many other things I want to buy first. I think what it comes down to, guys, is we need to uh, we need to start pushing that dealership a bit more. We, we're making some good cash off that, but we've been kind of neglecting it. And uh, yeah, we need to come back down here, see if we can maybe get that dealership rocking and rolling again and making some more money off that. That might be the, the best bet. I mean, that was some decent cash beforehand, and we've just kind of forgotten about it now. You know, put it on autopilot. And unlike, well, the GPS in the Harvester, if we had one, the autopilot definitely doesn't make us any cash. So um, I think we better... I don't know. I thought it had Gertie in charge of that. Apparently, she's off doing something else. All right, second headland is is pretty much done up here, folks. Let me uh, pull this on in. I think I parked the uh, the 180 close enough that we can just kind of pull alongside here and dump over the fence. I, th I think I did that. Now, we'll have room in here at least now, but beforehand, there's just not enough room in this field to get into it. Let's uh, go to right about here. We'll shut this off, lift this on up. Let's see here. Do we have enough space? I'm really hoping we do. Looks pretty. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty long pipe on this. We got a small header, long pipe. So we're just done with phrasing, right? That's not a thing anymore. We should be good. Can get nice and close. And there we go. Best driver in farm sim. Um, except for I, I went a bit too far. No, we didn't. That's right. The versatile just dumps out really, really. It's the most efficient auger as well in farm sim. It just takes literally, literally seconds. You can have that whole bin dumped out. Not a problem at all. All right, let's go back into this. Let's finish off this field. Uh, you know what's not going to take us too long in the grand scheme of things like i said 12 acres ish something like that uh not a huge field but still a decent amount of money we've got to figure out one more thing still i mean this is going to get replanted today probably but uh we also need to to move all our product all these soybeans i've got a ton of soybeans and well the market value is pretty good right now so i want to move them i want to move a ton of them because we've well everything we had the top fields everything we were going to have down here i want to get rid of it all i don't want it sitting in my silo I want a gown. I want to make some money, and uh, I've, I've got a plan. So let me finish this field off, and uh, well, we'll discuss that. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I, well, maybe it, uh, it's probably gonna wreck something. But anyways, whatever. I just realized we were. I thought I was harvesting soybeans and it's can, canola. Uh, we've been we've been farming too much today. I think it's I, I got stuff on the brain. It, <laughs> it happens. All right. Anyways, we're done. Pretty well. You know what? We're, we're almost done. It doesn't get much closer than this. Let's uh, dump the rest of this off. Uh, we've got that bin's like 30% full. So we got lots of room left over in the uh, whatever that star up bin is. Man, so much star equipment. <laughs> it's all team orange. Everything is orange around here. Uh, you know what? I still we got to replace that 500 series with something else. I think I don't think we're going to do well with that, guys. I need something something a little more reliable. Um, Maybe that a, a PTO that works properly on it might help as well. Just saying. All right, let's go dump this on in. And uh, you know what? It's time to... I think we're going to get rid of some of these money, or money beans. These could all right off the bat here. I want to get rid of a bunch of this stuff. We're running out of space over in the uh, in the old silo system. She's pretty much empty, or pretty much full, I mean. We need to empty that off. I don't have room for much more in there, and we might as well get rid of it. Like I said, prices are good for all this stuff right now. I took one trip into town the other day and uh, it's such a long drive so i have got well a better plan uh let's go jump in the star and i'll tell you about it hey, look at the dirt colorings we're getting on that star on the uh, on the ninja here like a dark reddish color we're getting all over this thing kind of weird must be picking up some weird dirt on that field over the tracks and up to the silo i'm gonna go dump this right i think we got room in the truck right now i think that truck should have some space let's go take a look see here should be good i'm just gonna drive on the grass we'll dump in and then we'll fill the rest of it up right out of the silo system. It's got to, oh, it's got to go around the far side. Ah, it's all right. It's fine. It'll work. Let's see. Is it empty? Yeah, it's pretty much empty. Good, 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 good. I like that. All right. Turn this off. We don't need to let this run anymore. All right. Uh, the 180 did it all right. Pulling the grain cart. I was expecting it to be more of a struggle, but you know what? It was, it was better than trying to plant with it. All right. Let's fill this up. We got the single axle Kenworth. Uh, another issue. I'll, I'll show you that in a sec here too. Like, don't get me wrong, it, it works okay right now, but uh, we filled this full of canola just the other day to go take this to, to, to into the city uh, and drop it off at the co-op in there. And um, 
Well, it was it was a, a bit of a mess. This single axle, guys, is just not enough weight distribution, and we're going to get this thing sinking right in. Uh, I've got one filled up already. Let me pull this ahead, and we'll fill up the second part of the bin here. Yeah, she's going to sink pretty good now. You can see it's already well, flattening out this tire. I mean, look at that. It's already sinking down so much. We're pretty much full. We've got lots of, lots of bushels in here. This is pretty much full, this whole bin. i got to take a bunch of loads over to the train silo and dump these in. Let's go for a drive, and I'll, we'll see how she handles, guys. But uh, what do we got? 1,700 bushels in here. And man, like I start accelerating and I can feel this front end of this truck just kind of come straight off the ground. It is, it is sunk, sunk down so low. Uh, we got to really take it easy. So taking this on the highway was, I kind of regretted it. It was not a fun trip. We definitely had to, to take things slow just to get it into town uh, and over to the co-op. And it's just a struggle. It's just, we needed a dual axle. Buying the single axle for this, well, it looks cool. It's just really inefficient, to say the least. So, I've got a better plan on getting our uh, getting our, our our plants to market. Our plants, our grains. Let's get over the tracks, nice and easy. Oh, come on, nice and easy. There we go. And and speaking of trains, oh, see, look at this. It's just too low. Come on over there. There we go. Get over the tracks. Nice. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's go uh, drive on in. You can see I've already been taking a few loads in here. So this right here, guys, is going to be our plan of action for this. I'm going to load everything we have into their silo system. And from there, it can go and uh, we could it could take it straight over to, uh, to the, the station by train. I think this is a much better solution than what we were doing. Uh, this will be way simpler. I won't have to drive as far and they can take a whole bunch more grain than I can carry with well one single truck. So... Let's keep on loading this up. I've got to make probably a, like probably seven or eight loads back and forth here, uh, just to fill this up, and we'll we'll get this this silo system filled hopefully with our canola. All right, let's go. All right, guys. Well, we brought in pretty much all the canola we had. Uh, there's still a little bit left over there. I didn't want to take everything. It's just a little bit. It's just it was easier to get going right now. So train's already showing up and it's she's creeping forward here. Good guys, hey hey, put the brakes on. Put the brakes on up there. Let's load this thing up, shall we? Let's go. Yeah, we got quite a few bushels, guys, to, to load up with this thing. Look at this. Um, I, I don't even know how much is going to fit in this, but there's quite a bit. Uh, I just got to let them know when it's full, and then we can move on to the next cart. I think we're going to have more than a few of these carts filled by the looks of things. I don't know what each one holds, like 2,500 maybe? Something along those lines? We'll see. We'll see what we can get filled up in here. Uh, there's one more filled up. Looks like it's still dumping in. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, full ahead. Excellent. Yeah, close the second one. We'll go to the next one up and then dump it back into that one as well. Oh, we still got a lot of bushels to go in here. <laughs> uh, let me go take a quick look up top and see how we're looking. So we've filled up two of them already. We've got to see how much more we can get in here. But how many how many carts do we got? We've got one, two, three, four. Is it four carts? Hopefully we got enough space. I mean, I, I'm not good at math, but um, that's going to be awfully tight. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit all the grain that we got in that silo into these carts. Maybe there's some of the open carts. You can fill into those as well. We'll see. Wow, we've got four grain carts full. And now we're just going to fill that open top bin as well. He said he's going to leave that one empty. So he's got no more, no more pickups for that. For the short trip we have, for him at least, it's a short trip to get back to towards town. But uh, that's, that's a lot. That's a ton. I mean, we're at 13,000 bushels of, uh, of canola. That ain't bad. Look at that. 12,447. We're full. That's empty. That's all of it. All right, let's go for a drive. He's letting us go for a trip with him into town. All right, giddy up. Let's go. Right past our farm. Oh, that's so cool. And there goes the back of the shop and through the tunnel towards Georgetown. Man, we have not had a chance to uh, explore some of the areas out in the back country here. But there are some just beauty, beauty areas out in the country by Georgetown, folks. Oh, man, it's so good out here. Do come and take a look. If you're ever out in Georgetown... You got to come out and take a look at some of the spots way out in the countryside here. It is great. Uh, we'll be just coming into Georgetown just in a little bit. We've got to uh, just go through this little mountain pass. And then we'll be at the uh, the Georgetown co-op dropping off all this grain. Oh, there she is just pulling in right now. Look at that. All right, right, let's. Uh, this should go directly into the co-op and we should be getting paid immediately, which is fantastic. Let's start selling this stuff off. Can't wait to get paid already for this. That's great over the tracks and in we go oh there we go first sales coming in 
that is going to be the first cart right there we like i said we've got four of these plus one more that's maybe got a half full load in it um we're kind of blocking off a whole area though unfortunately the way the train sits and parks here i hope they don't need to get back there because we've got a lot of unloading to do we'll see what we get per, per cart here it should be a fairly decent payday for us though i mean that was a good size harvest good decent amount of fields decent amount of crops what do we got Eighty five thousand bucks times well four we're gonna end up getting off that oh man that's that ain't bad guys that's that's a decent amount of income and we're getting this all by train oh that's so good that's fantastic so we're gonna be back in business uh the farm is gonna be good to go we're gonna replant that field we're gonna have to worry about the car dealership next i think and uh see if we can maybe upgrade that anyways guys that's gonna do it for us today here from georgetown i'm gonna keep on selling off some grains hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did you guys know what to do slap that like don't forget to subscribe and of course we will chat with you folks next time Hope you have a fantastic day, everybody, and we'll see you then. From Georgetown, this is Clutch. Over and out.